everybody, Chad from Nature Box Pet Emporium here today to do a product spotlight on one of my favorite products, the ZooMed Reptifogger. Uh, the Reptifogger is a very versatile and useful product in keeping reptiles and amphibians because most of them need some measure of humidity. Here in Denver especially, or any dry climate, we struggle with humidity and that's where the Reptifogger can come in. So the Reptifogger will run you, you know, 55, 60 bucks. Uh, what it is, it is basically a humidity cannon. It's an ultrasonic humidifier with a directional tube and a refillable reservoir for your reptiles. So when you open up the box, you're going to get yourself a reservoir, one length of flexible tube. I have two here. I'll show you why later. The unit itself. and the top to your reservoir. So what this is, is a spring-loaded reservoir so that when you go to put the full bottle of water on your tank, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, you know, spill. So here's a full bottle, and you'll get a couple of drops, but not a big deal. So as you can see, no water's pouring out. So that's a handy-dandy spring-loaded apparatus right there which keeps water from spilling all over your enclosure. So once you take it out of the box, what you're going to do is screw the top onto your reservoir. Also, which pro tip, this is the same thread as a two liter bottle of soda or anything else like that. So if you want to increase your fogging capacity, use a soda bottle. Two liters will work just fine. So screw that on. Again, that's a spring-loaded uh, one-way valve. <coughs> And that will go onto this piece. I'll show you in here. The inside of the unit has your ultrasonic, your ultrasonic disc, and it has a float switch. So uh, one really important feature of the Reptifogger is that it has this float switch. If this were to run dry, the ultrasonic disc would uh, would burn up, and the, the unit would be no good. Also, speaking of the ultrasonic disc, it's important to remember when possible use. Uh, you know, distilled water. You don't want anything in your water. Distilled water is basically naked water. <clears throat> so as the ultrasonic disc atomizes the water and makes the fog, um, all of those particles like minerals and vitamins, things like that, will become calcified on your disc and your performance will decrease over time. The good news is though that ZoomIn has fantastic customer service and if you uh, send them an email or give them a call, They'll send a replacement disc for you so you can replace it and it'll keep on going strong. Or if you're in the Denver area, come by. We stock these parts. We can do it for you for free. So you have that on there, like so. You put that on there, like so. You take your one length of tube, and like so. Uh, it's adjustable, so you can have a little bit of fog or a lot of bit of fog. It's up to you. And that's basically about it. Uh, some other tips that we like to tell our customers are that because this only has on-off functionality, uh, you might not need that huge much humidity. You might not need that much humidity. So you can uh, pair that with a ZoomIn on-off timer. So you can set this for the time of day and then the duration you want it to go on and off. Typically here at the store, we have a few of these go off two or three times a day to provide ample humidity for our reptiles without draining the reservoir and we can get two or three days between fill-ups. Another pro tip that we like to share is that people all the time ask, well, hey, hey guys, what do we, what do, we do at the end? I don't want to poke a hole in my screen to get this to be secure, so well, how do I get it to stay in place? Well, easy. You take, uh, ZoomIt actually has a fish product meant for one of their filters. It's just a little mag clip. What these do is they come with a little two-piece magnet with a clamp on it or a little, a little C-channel. So what you can do is put that on the end of your uh, misting or your fogging line and then put that in between something. So that'll keep it in place and you don't have to worry about poking a hole in your screen cage or you know setting up uh, two things to wedge it in between or anything like that and yeah it's just a really simple uh, pro tip there so what we're going to do is we're going to set up this Reptifogger on one of our cages we're going to show you one more tip that uh, will help you get maximum functionality out of your Reptifogger 
and through the miracle of time, we're back. So as you can see, I've set up the Reptifogger and made a few alterations, which you might find very interesting. It is very important to note that when you first initially set up your Reptifogger, this reservoir was full. So again, remember the float, switch, the float switch that we talked about in the beginning. That float switch has to be risen for the unit to turn on. So it turns off. When you turn it on, the blue light comes on, and it takes approximately, I'll say, an eighth of a bottle of water to get the unit to turn on initially. We get a lot of returns, and people say, but it doesn't work. I've plugged in the water, and it doesn't work. You have to squeeze the bottle a few times, get the water into the unit for it to turn on initially. So then you have your dial right here. So when it's on just a little bit, not a whole lot of fog comes out, and then you can ramp it all the way up. And after a moment, you can see that the fog starts to flow down. So something that we did modify on this one that is very handy for those of you who have 1, 2, 3, 17, 42, 178 reptiles in your house. I don't think it can be split that many times, but maybe two or three cages, what you can do is uh, split the unit. We get that all the time. Now, they're $60 a piece. I have six cages. That's a lot of monies. Uh, anyway, to make it work for multiple cages absolutely so as you can see we have three chameleon cages right here and we have one reptifogger servicing three cages so it's really simple all that we did was that i put two hoses together because i wanted it has to kind of look nice in a retail store so up top for display and then it goes down across it's really easy all you have to do is cut little slits in your flexible tube so I cut two slits here, two slits here, and one slit here, and then on the end I put that magnetic uh, hoop nanny there, and it's securing everything. So as you can see, all of the tanks have nice uh, fog traveling into them, giving these chameleons some nice humidity. So one Reptifogger can service three units, and that's about it. So as always guys, if you ever have any questions, comments, queries, or concerns, you can always come to our stores in Denver. We have one in Lakewood, one in Aurora. You can go to our Facebook page, you can message us, you can call us, you can email us. Uh, and like this video, subscribe, share with a friend. Get out there and go have a good time with your reptiles. We'll talk to you next time.